Hi Peter, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Quick recap on our lesson today. So I know you had some ideas with your swing and I quite like them. You know, we're talking about left foot and, and little pieces of that at the jigsaw. You know, the one thing I've always think is that takeaway of yours. We can see here on the left here, your first swing, that first move. It just goes in too much. Uh, and it's something that's always sort of bothered you really. And that club face is always rotating quite hard when that happens. So when you come down to square the face, sometimes you've got to rotate too much. And that's why we went into a sort of a fade swing, but it put a bit of pressure on your back. So we're going to keep the draw swing, but we've got to get that takeaway in a much neater position. Halfway back here, it's so flat. Um, there we can see it's almost horizontal the shaft this swing here on the right we put the uh, swing glide in and we can see instantly look at the difference here look at the club head it cuts through the hands beautifully and then straight away hinges through that right right uh, forearm when we get halfway back in the swing it's in a perfect slot look at the plane line here shafts almost at 45 degrees and if we look at yours at that same plane that same position there Look how different the swing is. I mean, the swing's much flatter here on the left. Okay, the line points above the ball. But also the hands are deeper. Uh, where the club's working around, it gets a little bit low and flat at the top. Uh, where the swing here on the right looks fantastic. Much more up and in front. And that means you just haven't got to manipulate it as much on the way down. So the club will finish not quite as inside on the way down. And then you can turn over it and give it a rip. And we started to see some really good shots and even to the point where the club's coming out up here with a little bit less loft on it, which means less flicking. But I love this finish. Look at this, what I call box finish. That's fantastic. Where the swing here on the on the left is very different. You're trying to save it now with your hands. The club's dropped so much in the inside, you've got to flick it a lot. And look at the difference of the finish. Look how much higher this left arm is and elbow. It doesn't look anywhere near as tidy as the swing on the right. So... That hinge thing is perfect for you. You know what to look for. As you swing halfway back, that left arm gets horizontal to the floor. You're trying to practice that the shaft is almost straight up, so 90 degrees. In real terms, in motion, it will soften and go a little bit more at the angle we are, sort of 45 or through the right shoulder. But that that is the feeling. We've got to feel much narrower, much earlier set in the takeaway. That gets the club much better on plane. Then you can just turn through it and give it a rip. Uh, and like I said, this follow-through is delightful. Really good, Peter.